What's up, Internet? My name is Michael Cook, and this is Blue Giant Media. We're here to help you find, learn, and play the games that you love. Today, we're going to open up Fox in the Forest by Renegade Games. Take a look and see what's inside, see how the components look. Let's jump right in. All right, so Fox in the Forest is an interesting game because it is a strictly two-player trick-taking game. So if you are familiar with spades or hearts or any number of other trick-taking games, so we got some promotional material. Um, this is a two-player game that is trick-taking, which is not something that you would expect right off the bat, because usually you kind of need more people if you know what the other person's doing, or you. It's just it doesn't seem like it would be almost really even viable with two players. But I have played this at Gen Con, and I was very impressed. So, simple rule set. We have some victory point tokens here, which I'm guessing by the fact that they've come, yep, they punch out very nicely. We got a good, good and sturdy, good quality punch board. So, well done. And we have a small deck of cards. I'll get into this more during the Ready, Set, Play. But the thing that makes it difference, different is that uh, the three different suits, uh, the different numbers, some of them are going to have different abilities on them. So when you play them, you might deliberately throw the one out there knowing you're going to lose. Because if you play this and lose the trick, then you lead the next trick. So it's a way to lose and still gain control over the, what suit is going to be led next. And some of them are going to change what suit is trump. Some of them are going to do various different things. There's also some cards that are going to be taken out at the beginning of the game at random so that it's not a, a zero-sum game exactly. You can't really predict exactly what's going to be out there. And then the other thing to consider is as you're playing, you play to a certain number of points and each round you're going to score points based off of a couple different things. If you um, lose all of the tricks or only win one, two, or three, you're still going to get six points. So if your opponent is taking too much, they are going to end up being greedy, win almost all or all of the tricks, and they're going to get no points and you're going to get six. So you've got to kind of decide whether you're going to go, in essence, nil, because you don't want to go for all of them. So definitely an interesting game. Uh, if for nothing else, the fact that it is small, compact, two-player, quick, still very thinky, you can really dig into the strategy and try and second guess what your opponent's going to do. And uh, a great option for anybody who's familiar with a trick-taking game, but maybe you don't have four players or however many are used in your usual trick-taking game of choice. So that is Fox in the Forest. And that's what's inside the box of Joshua Burgle's Fox in the Forest by Renegade Games. If you want to know how to set up the game, play through a couple rounds so you can get a feel for how the rules work, or if you want to see a review of that game, keep an eye out for a link in the description below. You'll also find a link to macronovagames.com where you can buy Fox in the Forest and many other fine games. If you want to know more about another game that I haven't done a video on yet, please let me know in the comments section below so that I can make a video of that as quickly as possible. If you want to find a game that isn't on macronovagames.com, make sure to let them know and they'll add that to the store as soon as they can. Until next time, I want to thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and have a very wonderful day.